Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another Selah moment. I hope that you are in some way able to enjoy all the beautiful weather that we have had because it's spring. So, you know, two weeks ago, we celebrate Good Friday. It feels like it was only yesterday, but it was already two weeks ago. And that was a time when we remembered our Savior dying on the cross. And when I think about the cross, I think about completion. When I see the cross, I think about completion. And that's our word for today, complete, because we do not need to add anything to our salvation because it was finished on the cross. We are loved. We are accepted as believers and we are at peace with God because of what he did on the cross. I want you to look at Psalms chapter 103 and we're going to look at verse number three. I'm going to read from the NLT. It says, he forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. Now, all means everything, means nothing is left out. He forgives all my sins and he heals all of my diseases. Healing and forgiveness are complete in Jesus. And so whatever type of healing we are looking for, maybe it's a physical healing. There's been a medical diagnosis. Maybe it's a financial healing. We just feel like we're set into some behaviors that we need to change. Maybe it's psychologically. There's something in our mindset that we want to change and we need healing. Maybe it's relationally. Maybe it's emotionally. There's so many ways that God can heal us. But in Psalms 103, this verse that really amplifies completeness in Christ. He forgives all my sins and he heals all my diseases. Sometimes the healing that we need, it happens here while we're on earth. And then there are other times when it happens when we are in heaven. It just depends on what God's plan is for your life. Let's look at John chapter 19, verse number 30, as we continue to to think about this word of, we look at the cross and it's complete. It's a finished work. John chapter 19, verse number 30. And this is from the ESV. It says, when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. It is finished. It is complete. It is paid in full. The full penalty for our sin was paid for when Jesus died on the cross. We are complete in Jesus. We are fully whole in Jesus. And so when he spoke these words, I love the fact that Jesus' last words was, it is finished. And when you think about that, an entire sacrificial system ended at the cross. There was victory at the cross. A new covenant was ushered in at the cross. Eternal life was secured at the cross. Shame was taken away. Fellowship was restored with our heavenly father at the cross. Believers were rescued and redeemed at the cross. It was complete because of the extravagant love of our savior. That is the good news on this Friday. When you look at Jesus's death, it looked like defeat. There were tears, people were sad, there was sorrow. But as we all know, the first Easter Sunday was the resurrection and what looked like defeat was the greatest victory for all mankind. We don't have to strive to succeed in this world because it's complete. We don't have to strive to get favor and acceptance from God because it's complete. We're victorious in Christ. In fact, the word of God says we're more than conquerors. Our joy is complete. That's what it says in John chapter 15, verse number 11. And so because of that, there is great joy in living out that joy as we walk in the earth realm. And this song, when I think about the cross, And I think about the completion. I think about it is finished, paid in full. A new system ended, an old system ended, and new was ushered in. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish 
the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. On this Friday, I pray that you are reminded when you see the cross, the completion of your salvation. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the blood that was shed, that we might live a life fully and wholly in you. I thank you, Father, that we can live abundant life. I thank you, Father, that it is a complete work. We believe in the finished work of Jesus Christ. And so this weekend, when we see the cross, may we remember the completion of our salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. I personally want to invite you to our Reset Conference, May 19th through the 21st. But until then, I hope to see you on Sunday, 1030 a.m. or 1230 p.m. Be blessed. Thank you for joining us. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss the video. See you next time.